So the last part of my presentation will focus on a specific infrastructure called Open Citation. I'm one of the directors of this infrastructure and will introduce some sort of highlights of the past two years. Uh, right now. So, as I mentioned before, Open Citation actually started in 2010 after a one year project uh, um, pro with f funded by JISC and was run by David Shatton as director when he was at the Department of Zoology in Oxford. And the goal was to publish Open Citation data in RDF, so in structured format, in order to make them available openly. And the outcomes of this project were mainly two. The first one is the release of the Open Citation Corpus, so this corpus of Open Citation data. And the second one was the uh, development of the spar ontologies that have been used for describing this Open Citation data. I was there in 2010 with David working with him in an internship during my PhD, exactly doing these kind of jobs, in particular the development of the spar ontologies in this context. So we have just released a few years later a new uh, infrastructure organization basically that is called still Open Citation. It is an infrastructure organization based in Bologna that is totally dedicated to open scholarship and to the publication of open bibliographic and citation data. And in addition to the Open Citation Corpus that was the original outcome of the project, we now are releasing a lot of other stuff, including models for modeling citation data, additional databases of citations, and software and services for accessing them freely, available online. And this is just a picture that shows the data model. So that describes the data model that we use for describing citation. I don't want to focus too much on the technical details here. I just want to show you the two main classes that are expressions based on the Ferber specification that basically we use to record all the bibliographic entities there, papers, for instance, and citation as a proper entity defined within the model. Because uh, we wanted in our idea to define citations as first-class data entities. So our idea is that citations are more than simple links between the citing article to the cited article. But they actually are proper first-class entities. So there is the concept of uh, something in the database that is the citations, that has attributes, one of these attributes is has citing entity, citing article. Another attribute is has cited article. And we also add additional information to the citation, uh, citation itself, for instance, to mark the citation if it is a self-citation, an author self-citation, an author that is citing itself, basically, or this kind of stuff. And since we now describe citation as proper entities that has attribute associated to them, we also invented a new persistent identifier that has been recognized recently by several people behind the identifications around the world that we called Open Citation Identifier. And the Open Citation Identifier are a very simple structure. It's made by this string, okay, column, number, dash number, where the first number identifies the citing entity and the second number identifies the cited entity. And we have made available also a resolver in order to get citation information starting from this identifier in different databases that made available cita open citation data such as Wikidata, such as Crossref, but and also of course the open citation corpus that is something that we handle. And about the data set that we are handling, uh, there are two different kinds of data set. The first one is called the Open Citation Corpus, which is the original one and now contains 40 million citation links between 7.5 million cited resources. And last year we also launched uh, the Open Citation Indexes that are just big containers of citation links and that now includes only two indexes. The main one that is cocky, that I described in the next slide, contains 445 million citations between uh, 
barely 46 million bibliographic entities. And all these services are, can be accessed and can be queried according to different things. Uh, we made available three different interfaces, let's say, REST API for both the data sets, Sparkle Endpoint for who is an uh, expert in semantic web technologies, and also textual search. So if you are a human and you want to look at some of the data, there are textual interfaces that allow you to look at and look for data within. So Koki, just to provide you a brief introduction to it, is uh, the Open Citation Index of Crossref Open DOI to DOI Citation. Basically, it is built by taking all the DOI to DOI links included in Crossref, in the dataset we can access in Crossref, and to convert them in RDF and just put all our services in front of it in order to access to this data. And the table, in this slide show how many uh, citation papers published by this publisher are uh, doing to other papers or receiving by other papers. And if you look at the third line, Elsevier here has a very not proportionate value just because Elsevier doesn't uh, um, join the initiative for open citation. So we don't have papers, Elsevier papers, and the citation they made, basically. Not a lot, just a few. So we analyzed uh, the status of open citation versus closed citation by comparing the data available in Koki with the, some of the metadata available in Crossref. And we found out that uh, w there are a lot of open citations uh, available there to the public, but still, the amount of closed citation in, uh, in Crossref, in particular, coming from the journals, are still quite high. And consider that one third of these closed citation here, one third, are coming, all of them, from Elsevier. And what we wanted to do is just to try an experiment. So to make available another index accompanying Koki that we named Croki or crowdsourced open citation index, where we ask people to submit their own citation because you own your citation if you publish the paper independently from the publisher who is publishing it. So basically, even if the uh, uptake of Crocky is very limited so far, we had just a bunch of citation there, uh, we have seen a lot of people that are trying to experiment with it, and they are trying to produce this data and to uh, allow us to publish all of them in CC0 within this new index. So uh, I go quickly on this slide, it's just a list of collaborations that we are doing with different kind of entities. Uh, about open citation that includes Wikidata, for instance, open air, but also uh, individual researcher. And this is just a picture to show you uh, the number of visits to our services that we got in the past year. And I will just focus on one important thing that we started to use REST API actually in May 2018. And REST API quickly become the most used service for accessing the data because this is what the actual user were requesting us. Uh, this is just a world view of what are the countries that are using these services, basically. And I would like to thank for this specific part before the conclusion our uh, sponsors, let's say, the people that has granted us fundings for doing this job and uh, that are supporting us. Uh, currently including our universities and our departments in Oxford and uh, Bologna.